Once labeled an underachieving school in a place of survival, Gompers Charter Middle School is now considered a phoenix rising. Those were the words used by the county to describe the first seven months of the school under its new charter status. 10 News reporter Fred Blankenship was at Gompers today and joins us now from the newsroom. Fred? Well, how you may recall that Gompers was one of four San Diego schools that opened this year with the charter status. Now, last year there, the number of students considered proficient in writing was zero percent. Now, a new report is showing that Gompers has it going on. A little more than a year ago, because of its poor test scores and attendance, Gompers Middle School was left with three options. Close down, be taken over by the state, or operate under charter status. After a long fight, it became a charter school. And now Gompers is going places. It is truly a dream becoming a reality. Gompers principal Vince Riverall is excited to hear new findings from the San Diego County Grand Jury. The Citizen Watchdog Group gave Gompers high marks for the dedication and perseverance of its staff and commended the hardworking students. Today, those students are being tested in math. The signs of success are in plain view. We had 98% attendance for testing days, which is unheard of. That's a miracle. On the negative side, the report found that teachers were young and experienced. That's not seen, though, as a disadvantage around here. Last year, we had classrooms with no teachers. I'd rather have a teacher that is in their first year or second year than not a teacher at all in a classroom. We're seeing it in the kids that are wearing uniforms. Michelle Evans has a child at Gompers. She says the students and parents now feel a sense of ownership over the school. Saturday classes and tutoring partnerships with UCSD play a big part. Everybody's looking at us. Everybody want to see if the charter was the best thing. So it's, it's like the make or break of the school right now. But it's more than just about test scores. It's a mindset. Faculty and parents want students to know that through this gate walk the finest people in the world. Seventh grader Cleosha Polk wants to become a surgeon someday. She is hopefully now well on her way. This year, like we get along better as a family. We work together and get things done. And also on the list of recommendations by the grand jury, more security staff revising the charter statement itself and adding more counseling services. Gompers was granted a five-year charter. Test scores and other requirements will determine whether the school will remain open. But today, they are very happy. Live in the newsroom, Fred Blankenship, 10 News. I have reason to be. That's right. All right, Fred.